Hey Pisces, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and we're going to do something a little differently today. We are going to take this entire deck of cards, and we're going to go from start to finish, and these cards are going to tell us what's going on in your life. So, if you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the Collective of Pisces with me today. And Pisces would like to know what is going on. What's going on in their life? What's going on in the lives of Pisces? And how is it that they need to handle themselves for the best outcome possible? Spirit, please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen in these cards. Spirit, please bring Pisces messages about what's going on in their life and how it is, whoa, <laughs> and how it is that they can handle themselves. Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, but to explain them to the collective of Pisces in a way that they can apply to their lives. Spirit, I'm looking for messages from for Pisces about their lives, about what's going on, and then your advice as to how to handle the situation. Spirit, please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen. I'm going to shuffle three more times, and I'm going to pull 15 cards. No, I'm not going to pull 15 cards. I'm going to shuffle three more times, and I'm going to pull straight off the top. Straight off the top, Spirit. What does Pisces have going on in their life? The Empress. Here, let's do it this way. The Empress. To the Six of Wands. So you are looking, uh, looking good, Pisces. Looking to create abundance in your life um, with progress, victory, and success. To the Queen of Cups, Pisces. Feeling very good in your feels. But there is some kind of conflict, disagreement, competition, and strife inside, in your feels, in the feels. Yes, okay. Okay, feeling very good about yourself as the Empress, right? Abundant, abundant. Victory, progress, and success. But in your feels, Pisces, in your feels, you have conflict about either taking passionate action or passionate action that has come towards you. Again, the King of Cups tells me that you're feeling emotionally volatile because, because of some kind of devil energy, some kind of an attachment that is proven to be a restriction in your personal growth. Could be a King of Pentacles character, but it's also talking about the security, the control, the power, the abundance in your life, your long-term goals. So there is some kind of toxicity that threatens your progress, leaves you in a state of indecision and confusion, a state of insecurity and worry, a state of simply sitting on things and doing nothing when it comes to who it is that you give and receive with. There has been some truth. Either you have spoken truth to yourself or truth has come in from an emperor that affects the, the structure and the establishment of your life in regards to a Two of Cups relationship. Prince of Pentacles says that you are surveying the landscape and you are weighing the options. Is this wishes fulfilled? Comfort, happiness, and satisfaction? Is this something that you can plan for your future? definitely about reuniting the communication coming into you about reuniting a message of creation leaves you in a state of anxiety fear and anxiety about 
the ability to create harmony in this situation. You are challenged. You struggle because there was betrayal, deception, deceit, shady behavior in the past. But now this message of, a, of, a, of creation wants you to take a, a, new, a new journey and have a new beginning. The alchemist talks about manifesting. They want, you, they want to manifest with you. They want you to participate in a new beginning and a new journey. Six of Swords says all you can think about is the regretful but necessary transition that you took the last go-round here. Eight of Pentacles says that these messages are about engaging, working on it, working it out to the Hierophant with, within the realms of commitment. To the Queen of Pentacles, within the realms of commitment and 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 home, family, creating a life together. Four of Swords says that you're thinking about this, you're thinking about manifesting an opportunity in this situation. King of Swords says you have a very important decision to make. The Eight of Swords tells me that you are in a state of mental turmoil. To the Nine of Wands, feeling hesitant, defensive, paranoid about reuniting and reconciling your differences with someone from your past. Someone that represents a Queen of Wands type of energy. Somebody that's exuberant, warm, vibrant, super determined has on point intuition, somebody that is going to stand by your side and help you achieve. Death comes in and says that there's about to be an ending to this whole situation and a transformation on the other side. Two of Pentacles says you're trying to gain balance and prioritize this whole decision-making process here. Queen of Swords says that you are using logic and reasoning, intellect, to decide if you want to manifest with this person or not. Four of Pentacles says you are feeling a little self-protective against this King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Devil character. Because there has been heartbreak and pain in the past, but now they're asking you to have forgiveness and optimism for the future. Nine of Swords, in your head, hard, in your head, hard, to the Eight of Cups because you've walked away once before. Prince of Swords says that you, let's see, Prince of Swords to the Lovers, to the Wheel. All right, Prince of Swords says that perhaps you're returning some communication about coming into union in a love relationship and changing the destiny of this relationship. Justice says truth has been spoken. Justice has been served about the conflict, the tension, the loss, the betrayal, the mind games of the past. The Prince of Cups is somebody taking action on their feelings. You, Pisces, taking action on your feelings. To the Princess of Swords, you are formulating a decision-making process to take action with the Chariot. This whole situation has been a ginormous tower moment with the three of wands saying you didn't even see it coming. Came out of nowhere. Didn't even see it coming. Confused the hell out of you because you're not sure if it's illusion and wishful thinking to even think that you could have the ten of cups, happiness, harmony, values, alignment with this person. You are in the hangman energy, pausing, processing, surrendering, coming out on the other side with a new perspective. What you're processing in that hangman energy is the five of cups, loss, regret, disappointment, and despair. What you're contemplating in that hangman energy is if you can take this to the bank, if you can build a foundation for a future with this person. High Priestess tells me that you're sitting down with your intuition and your subconscious mind and you're contemplating and reevaluating 
Ace of Wands says you come out of all of that with a desire to take inspired action to create a new beginning because you see success and vitality in the situation. Nine of Pentacles says you're bringing the situation to a conclusion. It hasn't been easy. Princess of Wands tells me that you are now filled with a sense of enthusiasm and you're ready to explore and discover teamwork and collaboration with this person. Judgment says that this decision is a rebirth of the situation, resurrecting something that was dead and gone with the hopes of hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. Closing out a life cycle and starting anew because after much reflection and assessment you decide that the investment that you will make will be worth the effort. Ace of Cups says feeling super good in your feels about the entire situation and the Hermit card comes in and says that this decision was not made without a whole lot of soul searching, introspection, and inner guidance, Pisces. There you go. That was your quick love read. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want a personal reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Namaste.